Alright, so Mega Man X. Uh, this is my uh, second attempt to record, actually. Uh, I guess I was uh, scrolling through the options. I must have been scrolling through the options in uh, OBS earlier and accidentally uh, messed them up. I uh, ended up recording the game audio and the mic audio into the same channel there, so uh, it was kind of unusable, fortunately. Uh, I'd only beaten the first uh, three bosses though, so it's not like I went through the entire game. Uh, I guess good thing I checked it before I got too far. It's a pretty fast game, so not too bad. Alright, so, uh, this will be a bit odd, I'll be just going through this stuff I was saying before, but, uh, I had this game as a kid. I do remember having the box for it, uh, again, I threw the box out, and the manual at some point. But I, I did play this one quite a bit. I don't think I ever beat it as a kid, I always just got to the last area and then got killed by the uh, spider boss. But uh, I have beat it a few times since then, so hopefully I'll be able to go through it again completely. It should only take, I believe, uh, two hours maybe, less than that. Hopefully, unless I end up getting stuck in the end there. This thing's odd here. Why there's one random foreground gas tanks, right, or whatever. Probably isn't terribly interesting to watch. There's a, probably a thousand other Let's Plays of Mega Man X that are better, so. But, anyways, I thought this would be a pretty, you know, quick, easy, uh, nostalgic thing to do. Another game I had as a kid. So here's the, uh, famous battle against, uh, Vile here with the scene that comes right now. scenes in any SNES game. I really appreciate how a few cutscenes and stuff like this, stuff like that this game has. Uh, the ones that they do have are, you know, very major and cool. We were into the game proper. For some reason as a kid, I did the uh, Storm Eagle stage first often, which is probably the worst stage to do uh, before you've got the dash boots here. It's just so many pits, and Storm Eagle himself has a couple moves that are kind of tough if you can't dash. So uh, I'll just be going through kind of the standard way. Uh, Penguin, and then... Uh, Mandrill, Armadillo, and so on. Uh, I'm probably going to go through, uh, you know, get everything just so that I don't get stuck there in the last level. I'm not terribly good. If I don't have the uh, sub tanks and all the hearts and everything, may end up being a bit difficult there at the end. I don't want to uh, 
you'll get to like Sigma and then have to go back and grind for uh, life and stuff. I always kind of wondered uh, if there was something like over there as a kid, because it kind of looks like there's a platform. I always wondered if there was some like, you know, way to damage and uh, get through here or something and get some hidden item over there, but uh, I don't think there is. That was the one thing a couple years ago I played through the PSP uh, remake of this and uh, that was one thing that I found that a lot of times when uh, companies are remaking games they they just don't get it like what you know why the game was good why people liked it so they just make it like a modern game and I think the PSP remake of this has just you know a pile of cutscenes and voice acting just you know I I don't see the point in that, you, you know, you're playing this for the gameplay, it's... Yeah, so I'll have to go, uh, I'll have to get back in here to, uh, get the heart that's up there. Once I've got, uh, the fire. I don't remember if there's any, any others, uh, maybe the missiles of you, but, uh, yeah, I'll come back here once I got the fire so I can get that. Yeah, so I guess the reason I always did the uh, eagle stage as a kid first is that it just seems kind of the most uh, normal. Like if it was a Mario game, uh, probably the, you know, the bird level would be the, uh, the bird world or whatever would be the first place you go to. And then, you know, the ice place and the electric place and all those, those would be much later in the game. But I think that's kind of what I was thinking, like, oh, there's a bird, it'll be easy. But, uh, yeah, without the uh, dash boots, it's actually probably the, the hardest level and the hardest boss. Because there's just, yeah, so many places to fall and die. Unfortunately, uh, Penguin's pretty easy there. Alright, so there we go. I'm about uh, eight, nine minutes in and I got first boss, so yeah, this probably should take maybe an hour or two. I guess another th good thing about redoing this, uh, I changed my uh, key mappings there for the controller I'm using. The uh, I was using a uh, Ori uh, GameCube style Pro Controller uh, previously on another game. Uh, but that doesn't really work very nice for Mega Man. It's the uh, you default, you press Y to shoot and then uh, A to jump, which is, or, you know, A to uh, dash, and uh, B is jump, which is just uh, uncomfortable if you map those to the GameCube. And yeah, I could have uh, maybe switched them around so that it was uh, A to jump, uh, X or Y to dash, and then. Uh, B to shoot, but uh, I don't know. I figured it'd be easier just plugging my uh, Ape to Do uh, SNES style controller here. Yeah, I know some people uh, remap the uh, L or R buttons to the dash, but I'm just using the uh, stock here. Yeah, it's amazing how different the game is with the uh, dash. You just, uh, I don't know, it's like a totally different game. Uh, make, it really makes sense that they gave you the dash by default in the next games, because uh, 
I don't know, you just always get get it first here, so might as well just give it to you. The, like that first tutorial level feels so weird without it. There's all like, you know, even these short little jumps there in it, you know, they feel like they could kill you if you jump just a bit too early. Yeah, so like I said, I typically use the uh, GameCube style controller. I just, you know, I find the GameCube controller just fits my hands perfectly. Like, uh, I don't know, almost like, you know, you put your hands in a mold or something and then they made a controller out of it. That's like what the GameCube uh, feels like. But, uh, yeah, unfortunately it's got not a terribly good D-pad and the, the buttons are, for some games, not really set up quite right there. So I will have to come back here once I've got the boomerang in order to get the uh, sub-tank. Uh, get this now, at least. Uh, back at the beginning there, there's a sub-tank behind a wall. Yeah. Uh, what I mentioned about my set, uh, controller uh, not being set up right, I had uh, the... Uh, from when I was using the GameCube controller, I guess the uh, same, hot, same keys were... Uh, you know, Joy 8, Joy 9, or whatever, on the GameCube were the uh, thumbstick uh, pressing for the, the two uh, analog sticks. Uh, R L and R3, I guess they would be called. Uh, but on this, the same numbers map to the uh, L2 and R2. So I kept accidentally uh, saving and loading states during the recording every time I hit them. Uh, so I removed those mappings and put them back on the thumbsticks there. But yeah, it was... Uh, almost forgot. Kinda sad, he doesn't even really get a chance to move or anything. Time it right. Uh, it's got to be one of the uh, easiest bosses if you've got a special weapon. Alright, so I'm up to uh, 13 minutes, so that was even quicker than the uh, ice stage. Nice short password there. Like Ninja Boy. Yeah, I don't think I ever really bothered with the passwords as a kid, because, uh, you know, I could get as far as I could there up to the last area pretty quick. And then I just got stuck there, so, you know, I just kept playing through the uh, first levels over and over again. You know, doing them in different orders and so on. don't have to kill this guy, because, uh... The only thing I'll get for killing him is, uh, access to those up there, but, uh... I don't have the, uh, helmet yet, anyway, so... Matter. Uh, I went through this, uh, an hour ago. On the, uh, ruined recording, I was all frantic to kill him, because I thought the heart piece was up there, but, uh... The next guy is the heart piece, so... I guess I don't have to kill him either, I can just uh, hurry up on ahead of him. Alright, so that's uh, both of the things in this level. I won't have to come back here. Yeah, like I said, I'm gonna try and 
be able to get everything so I don't get stuck at the end there. Kind of annoying. But uh, I, I won't be getting the uh, Doken here. In case you don't know, you can jump off this cliff uh, like 10 times or whatever. And uh, once you've got, I don't know, all the, all the heart pieces and sub tanks or whatever, I don't remember exactly how to do it. I've only done it once or twice, but then uh, Capsule will appear here and you'll get the uh, Hadoken. Uh, which, yeah, kind of sounds like it'd be some schoolyard rumor, you know, oh, if you, you die ten times in Mega Man, you can get the Hadoken. But, uh, yeah, I don't usually bother doing it. I do like that his uh, sprite changes there with the uh, losing his armor and all that. He's probably one of the hardest bosses if you uh, don't have his uh, correct weapon there. I've actually died here uh, probably many times before, uh, just from falling into those spikes, getting pulled in. Yeah, another thing I do sometimes is just, uh, just to stand right over here and tank a bunch of damage and shoot them over and over, at least then you don't uh, fall in the spikes. Here's the ship. Uh, as a kid, it took me, you know, forever to realize that there was something up here, and then to actually uh, destroy it because the tanks take so many hits. I'd always just, you know, hit him a couple times and be, oh, I guess he's invincible, and then move on. <laughs> yeah, you can move under him there and get squashed. Did that uh, many times too. I don't remember what the uh, easy way was to kill these guys. I think I watched on like a speed run or something. There's some way to just, uh, you know, you kill these guys in like two seconds, but uh, just the, uh, the lemons here seems to work okay. Very nice in that these pillars line up with the ground here so you know uh, you're not going to fall onto a spike. That's the uh, heart container of this level. Not really anything else in this level. Yeah, you know the... Uh, I don't know, I think this has probably the best... Uh, one of the best underwater levels in the game. You know, a lot of games they try and add a... Uh, 
you know, underwater level and they had swimming and stuff. And it just ends up being uh, tedious and stuff. You know, they spend all their development time making uh, good land controls and then uh, they throw together some swimming controls from one level and it just doesn't work. But, uh, you know, just making it a bit slower, you know, a bit floatier, lower gravity or whatever. I think that's just kind of the way to do it. Yeah, this guy is pretty difficult if you don't have uh, the right weapon, and even with them, uh, you know, it doesn't really it doesn't do a ton of damage to him. It doesn't stun him. It doesn't uh, debilitate him in any way. gonna kill me there. There we go. If I recall correctly, if you have the uh, boomerang, you can cut off his tentacles. Or maybe you're thinking of the mammoth, cutting off his trunk, or maybe it's both. Duh. I guess if you do it in this order, you don't end up seeing that uh, until the boss rush, I guess, at the end. Alright, so this is as far as I got uh, previously, before uh, I stopped recording to check the recording and realized it was screwed up, so I'm going to do that now, just check. Alright, so the recording looks good, so uh, I'll continue. So after the uh, missiles, we got the Wanger here. If I recall correctly, it's supposed to be a Kugata beetle. We'll have to uh, maybe check and see what his Japanese name is. If they, you know, if he was you know Boomer or Kugata or something, and then they were like, "Well, what's a Kugata? Let's just uh, make something up." really like going through this level with the, uh, the powered up shot and the uh, uh, sting chameleons thing. Then you can just uh, go invincible here and just fly through here. Yeah, I think that was typically what I did. Uh, I guess then I must have been beating Stink, Stink Chameleon without this guy's power, but uh, it does make the level a lot easier. This level has a lot of stuff uh, getting in your way, and especially in the jumps. it speeding up like that. It's a bit odd that you need to get, need to beat this level and then run back through it again just to get that. Uh, you know, because then you're you're just beating it twice in a row, not with you know no uh, you know come back or if you beat some other level, it's just beat it again. <laughs> so I need the uh, boomerang to get that. Getting kind of low on health again here.
least this guy is uh, extremely easy. So I don't remember if I mentioned in this recording or the previous one, but uh, yeah, the music, of course, and this is really good. Uh, got, you know, the soundtrack on my uh, phone there, listen to all the time. Uh, I don't think there's any, uh, any song in the game that's uh, not, like, really good. I'm definitely more of a fan of this kind of, you know, kind of like, uh, you know, rock soundtrack rather than the, uh, you know, Final Fantasy, uh, big orchestra, classical, or whatever music. You know, this and like uh, Final Fantasy Mystic Quest, games like that, I definitely prefer uh, those kind of soundtracks. guy takes forever. I don't know if there's a weapon that he's uh, weak to. I know the uh, tornado will hit him a couple times, but it's uh, better hit. I guess it'd be good to watch a speed run sometime. 100% speed run. I guess you would never, uh, I think they ever go through here if it's not 100%. Gotta see if there's any way to actually uh, kill this guy a bit faster. I guess it makes sense though, you know, he's big and fat and he gives you the armor that reduces the damage he takes, so makes sense, but uh, still annoying. They should have like a rock fall on you or something, just show that you took half damage. <laughs> oh, uh, good, the uh, water is here. Uh, break this. through here again. Uh, if I had done it before, uh, the big guy up top wouldn't be stomping around and knocking all this stuff down on my head. I think that's what's ha what happens there. Yeah. 
It's a nice touch how if you're not uh, in the mech suit when you approach those guys, they're just kind of standing outside of it. You can, you know, kill them and take it and not have to fight them in, in it. Another boss that is uh, fairly difficult if you don't have his weapon, but uh, becomes extremely easy if you do. Yeah, the Chameleon Stinger is strong against the Eagle. Something I never did as a kid, I always took the Eagle on first for some reason, but... Uh, here we go. Yeah, see, like everything about this level, it's all, you know, tiny little platforms. I don't know, if you don't have the extra mobility from the dash boots, it's uh, really difficult. Plus, you can over here. This is a pretty cool spot to hide something because you know it's obvious you can, you can climb up somewhat and it's like oh what's up there. I think actually as a kid I did find uh, I believe all the power-ups and everything they're, you know, they're not super hard to find but if you do think just a little bit you can find them. I think they just struck the, the right balance there difficulty in finding them. Over here, up five. This is another spot where it's just so much easier having the dash boots. Got that little extra no movement. You don't have to stand right at the edge and just kind of hope that uh, you know everything lines up so you can make the jump. And you can jump whenever you want. I believe the fire and the uh, air are pretty good at getting rid of the vibe yet. Helmet. I always thought it was kind of a disappointing upgrade, you know, it doesn't really let you do anything special aside from break a handful of blocks in a few levels. Uh, would have been cool if it, like, I don't know, made you invincible while jumping, or... Ah, I guess that'd be a bit too strong. I don't know, if it did something, or maybe let you hit enemies when you're jumping, or... You know, jump, if you jump into them, they take damage, or... I don't know. Something would have been cool, other than just, uh... You know, it's basically a key. I guess it makes your head look cool. Yeah. yeah, again, like that spot, this level is so stressful if you don't have the dash boots to just uh, fly all over the place. This is a nice touch now.
empty sometimes. I'll have to go fill those up later. Alright, let's see what the bikes do on. Yeah, and his uh, move where he shoots the tornado at you, that is, uh, I believe it's, well, yeah, even this one, you know, you just get pushed way back, you can't dash forward. Uh, and, you know, this move, you can easily dash forward out of the way, and then turn and shoot him. Whereas, you know, you really have to time it right if you're not uh, dashing. Yeah, see, like that one, you know, if you're too far back, it'll just kill you. There's nothing you can do. Plus, you got the dash boots. Most of this guy's moves are nullified if you have the dash boots. Uh, I guess the dive isn't too hard if you got the timing. Alright. Oh, it just does a bunch of damage to him. Again, no uh, special effect. I don't know if any of the other weapons have some special uh, animation on him. mission. But that's another thing, the, uh, the stage differences there. Uh, if you've beaten certain stages, then uh, certain other stages will have uh, different effects on them. The, uh, Eating Chill Penguin stage causes this stage to freeze over. Yeah, that is a, I don't know, a very tight jump there. It's very easy to break the block and then slip off and fall and then have to restart the stage to get up here. But, uh... I guess the X-Buster uh, upgrade is technically kind of optional because, uh... Zero will give it to you once you get to him, so it's don't really need it, but uh, nice to have it. But yeah, uh, the uh, Chill Penguin stage will cause this stage to uh, freeze over. The uh, Storm Eagle stage will cause Spark Mandrel, uh, his ship will crash into Spark Mandrel's. Uh, power plant there and cause like a blackout. Uh, the, uh, the octopus's level will uh, flood Sting Chameleon's level there. I think that is... I think that's all the changes. So I've got the heart container and the sub tank and the uh, buster power up. So that is uh, it for this level. So I guess after this, I'll just have to go back to uh, Penguin Stage, get a heart container, the uh, Spark Mandrels to get a uh, sub tank, Boomer Quanger Stage to get that heart tank at the end. I think that's it.
Yeah, so despite playing this game a ton as a kid, I don't really have too many uh, interesting stories. So I'm just going to pause here and uh, start a new recording. Alright, so the recording is uh, good. Alright, so yeah, like I said, I don't really have too many uh, interesting stories about this game. Like, I do have some other games. You know, I didn't, didn't really play this with any friends, none of my friends had it, uh, didn't play it with my cousin really, you know, I, I played it a ton, but uh, I never really beat it. Let's see, I gotta get a little back and get all the stuff, uh, everything there. Let's all go through here. like being able to just uh, fly through the level. That doesn't, uh, grip wood. No. Oh, I guess I should stop there. Odd that your health uh, extends a little bit past your energy there. Would have thought they would uh, have them line up there at the end. He's done. I gotta get a heart there. This is pretty close to the beginning. through here again. It would really be nice if it was placed a bit earlier. Well, I can do this now anyways. speed up there. Pretty sure I've been killed there. Yes.
Alright, so I think I got uh, all the stuff. Time to just go uh, fill up my sub tanks. The, uh, but I find the best uh, sub tank place in the game. It's uh, right here in this level. You know, it would have been interesting if they had an item somewhere that you could only get by uh, walking across spikes while you're uh, invincible there with the chameleon sting. Anyways, this is, I find, the uh, best spot to fill up stuff. Walk around here like this. Actually, I think there is an easier spot uh, halfway through Sigmund's castle, but uh, till then, it's a best spot. It is odd that this just lasts forever, like until you, uh, until it gets broken. Not on like a timer. Aside from uh, well, this, uh, I'm also currently playing Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. Uh, I'm playing the uh, Japanese version just for uh, language practice, uh, although it's not actually very difficult. I'm not really learning any new words or anything. It's fairly simple. Uh, there's very few kanji as well. Uh, the few kanji that there are are all like uh, first grade ones with uh, furigana. So it's uh, not terribly difficult to read. Uh, the only thing I guess I find difficult, a bit difficult to read, is the font is uh, a little bit, uh, in a, I know, a bit stylized. That makes it a bit more difficult. At least it's not all in uh, katakana, like uh, a lot of uh, NES or SNES games, especially like sci-fi ones, like. Or, yeah, I guess, your Genesis ones, like, uh, Fantasy Star. Uh, I tried playing that, it's all... I believe the Japanese version's all in Katakana, which is just, uh... I don't know, ridiculously difficult to read. For me, anyways. There. Yeah, I'm playing that. Uh, I'm not uh, recording it, though. I wasn't totally confident how it would go trying to play through a, uh text-heavy RPG in Japanese and uh, stream and have to like uh, you know record uh, you know probably narrate everything that was being said or whatever uh, yeah I don't know it might have been easy might have been okay it doesn't seem to be a lot of game though or a long game and you know I think I'm 20 hours in or so and I think I'm only like halfway done uh, and there is a lot of text, uh, long talking segments, and I'm trying to read, you know, most of the stuff, talk to everyone, just for more practice. Uh, Luigi, he goes on and on. Alright, uh, I believe that is everything. But yeah, the, uh, the recent release of the Origami King got me, uh, thinking I should play that, because, uh, I'd played the original one, uh, Way back when the when I had an N or when I just got an N64 and Paper Mario was you know newly out, uh, I had rented uh, Paper Mario and then uh, I never ended up beating it. And, you know, I, I think I got just one or two stars or whatever. Uh, and then uh, a couple of years ago, I went through and played it again. I really like the, well, at least the first two Paper Mario games. Uh, I haven't played uh, Super Paper Mario or Color Splash or Sticker Star or Origami King or anything, but uh, the more RPG ones I really like. Uh, 
find a lot of RPGs, you know, you're just uh, mash and fight over and over again for most of the battles and not terribly, uh, you know, a lot of people will say, oh, it's, you know, RPGs, they're like the, the pinnacle of strategy and, oh, you like action games, you're just mashing buttons and stuff, but really a lot of RPGs, you, you're just, uh, oh no, that was a mistake. You know, you're just kind of mashing the, the fight command over and over again for like 90% of the game, so Paper Mario games, you know, pretty much every battle you've got to kind of, you know, you can optimize like, okay, I can, you know, jump on this guy and then have my partner do this and, and so on. It's I find it's a lot more, you know, strategical and the, uh, the items are... You know, they make a lot more of a difference. Plus one attack actually like means something, not like, you know, in some other RPG where so you equip this sword or whatever and get, you know, plus five percent attack and it's like, okay, well you know, I go from you know, one shotting an enemy to one shotting an enemy or whatever, and it doesn't really uh you know, have any I should actually probably just shut up here and uh, focus I don't drop into the pit again. I've seen speedrunners just uh, like climb that little hill there, which is uh, like they just hit the side of that and just jump up it. It's crazy. All right, I made it. Yeah, so I really, I'm really liking Paper Mario. Uh, I don't know why I never played it earlier. That's another one I'm playing with the uh, GameCube controller. Uh, I like this 8-bit uh, Doe controller, this NES style, but uh, for some reason, uh, Dolphin just doesn't see it. I can't get it to work on Dolphin, so... Quick drink there. I was getting dry. I like the sounds of a fight going on there. That's another thing. I like playing as Zero in, I think it was like X2 or X3 where you can play as him. That was a bunch of, uh, you know, it was cool playing as him. I've played just a little bit of the, uh, uh, Mega Man X Zero games, but uh, you know it was really fun playing as Zero in them. But I just found they were so tedious because they're so like story driven. And, you know, you start the game, you go through ten minutes of cutscenes, and then you you do like one tiny little linear area, and then you go through another ten minutes of talking and stuff, and, and then you get sent on this one mission to go here or wherever. And, you know, if it just was a normal Mega Man game, it's just okay, pick where you want to go and you know, go to this, you know, just do what you want, play the levels, no talking, no cutscenes, just, you know, the game that I would love them, but they're just so uh, tedious. There's another uh, kind of famous cool scene there. I believe he is missiles. I get to them before the fight starts, hopefully. Half zero.
would have been nice if you refilled my health at least. But, uh, well, I if his legs are around here somewhere. It reminds me of that scene of, in Ants when uh, he finds the guy's head on the battlefield there. Be okay. Find your body somewhere. God, I hated that movie as a kid. It was so creepy. It was like an ugly, like uncanny valley version of Bugs. The thing that got me uh, thinking of starting doing this was, uh, uh, I'll put a link in the description I guess, it was, uh, I can't remember who the uh, YouTuber was, it was uh, something about uh, Mega Man X speedrun or something, uh, it's pretty funny, so I saw that and thought, oh, I should play through that again. Mega Man's just like, going like jittering around like this the entire time. I don't know if that is faster to go like that, or uh, it was just like an exaggeration. Uh, Alright, uh, I believe this is the spider. So you can follow him as he goes down these. I, it's something I never got as a kid, and that's why he uh, killed me, because I would just kind of, you know... Okay, I thought I was supposed to... Uh... Okay, I gotta shoot a bit earlier, I guess. So I know the pattern, but uh, it's not really helping. Uh, I'm pretty sure once I beat like half of this, I get to go back to the map, and then I can uh, refill my sub tanks and uh, do the second half. At least I uh, really hope that's the case. Such a short window there, getting them. see why that guy killed me as a kid. I'm uh, not particularly good at it. Alright, I guess this is the uh, the end of the first part. Password. Back to uh, fill that one sub tank. I don't know if this is necessary because uh, I'm pretty sure there is a uh, easy refill area with Lots of little weak enemies in the second half there, but I think it.
this was one of those things I was really you know, proud of myself for uh, figuring it out as a kid. Like, oh, I can just go here and uh, grind some uh, sub tank. So I've played, uh, I don't know, regarding the Mega Man games, I guess I've played maybe half of them. I've played uh, X1, well I've beaten X1 through uh, 6 or 7. I think it was around like the, well, I only had one as a kid, but uh, you know in the last couple of years I've played through a bunch of the other ones. The rest of the SNES ones and uh, PlayStation ones. I think maybe one of the PS2 ones. Uh, okay, so back here. Yeah, and then also the. Uh, I never had the uh, NES ones as a kid either, so I've played through them. Uh, yeah, so I. Uh, I pay more attention. I, yeah, I, uh, everything up until that spider, I played through a ton as a kid, and, uh, everything after the spider, no idea, so, this is, uh, this might as well be new to me. I've maybe seen this stuff, uh, once or twice, maybe three times, so, This, uh, Boomer Quang? No. Oh, the Penguin. It's nice to refight them when you've got, uh, all their, uh... Now you, you know you have, like, every, uh, special ability, so... Extra animation there is nice. Uh, I'm surprised since it's Capcom, they didn't use. I don't know. It would have been funny if they'd used a similar one to like uh, in Street Fighter or you know all their beat 'em ups when you get hit by a fire thing. The kind of you know the black kind of outline of a guy getting uh, posted would have been funny if they had done that. Uh -oh. So I did play, uh, played through a couple of the, you know, the non-X Mega Man games, you know, 1 to 5 or so, and then, uh, I believe some of the newer ones, uh, 9, 11 or whatever. Uh, and then, uh, Mighty Number no. 9 as well. Uh, I don't think it was as bad as its reputation. It definitely wasn't one of the better ones, but, uh, wasn't that bad. Yeah, I, you know, I overall like them. I'm not a huge, you know, fan of them. Like I said, there's there's ones I haven't bothered playing yet, so... But, uh, X anyway is good. I've only ever beaten, like, 2 and 3. I don't know, I think, uh... 
once. I did. I do remember renting too as a kid and just not getting anywhere. I found it was much more difficult. So. I think I managed to beat like one or two bosses. Okay, what is this guy? Most of my knowledge uh, from this, from the uh, spider onwards, comes from uh, watching like let's plays and speed runs. Not uh, probably, yeah, I've probably watched people uh, get this far more than I've actually gotten this far. So. there. That's handy. I don't think I even used a sub tank. Nice. Right, I'm going to pause here just check the recording again. Alright, uh, time to finish up. The uh, recording looked good. And I ended up uh, eating supper, of, uh, just checking it, but uh, I think I'm ready to go now. I think this is the last section. Yeah, I got full, uh, full tanks there. Who's this guy? cool if it was a little uh, hole or something went up somewhere to a, you know, a little item cache. Um, uh, yeah, I think that would have been a spot to uh, stock up on items, go up and down and get the bats. You could even use the rolling shield, I think. going through when you're you know comfortable with their uh, abilities and or, you know you've got this uh, their weak all the bosses weaknesses I 
and there's another. It would be cool if they had you fight like two at a time, but uh, that probably wouldn't have been possible. Uh, I'm guessing. Well, I don't know. I'm not really sure on the uh, sprite limits and stuff for the uh, Super Nintendo. Maybe there's plenty left over, but they are quite big. I'm guessing uh, some of them take up quite a lot. But I suppose they could have paired uh, large and small bosses together, you know, uh, Flame Mammoth and uh, Chill Penguin together or something like that. Okay, so that was kind of cool. I suppose you could, could have probably got them from the underside with the boomerang, maybe. Not gonna bother cutting off this trunk. I already did that once, and it doesn't seem to actually make them any easier. Uh, if anything, it makes them harder because he doesn't waste time uh, going out with blobs are not particularly dangerous. Uh, in case you didn't know, if his fire hits one of those globs, it makes like this big uh, flame pillar, but uh, that doesn't seem to really happen very often. Oh, better that he just wastes his time on it. Yeah, I don't remember how many uh, end stages there were. Oh, okay. Thought I used a uh, sub tank. Apparently not. Right. On to. I guess the uh, this is the last section. 
Uh, yeah, see here's another uh, sub-tank charging cliffs. Be a rolling shield there and kill the bugs coming out of the wall. Last boss. Sigma not at all upset that I just killed uh, Spark. Because I'm not sure if that's the uh, the highest damaging, uh, you know, his weakness, or if it's just easy to hit him with it. That's what I see uh, other people using. Yeah, this is something, you know, I never got as far as a kid. I've only gone to him once or twice, ever, definitely as a kid. He was, uh, only shield here. there. Yeah, I guess if you got enough sub tanks, you don't need to be good. no uh, third form. Hey, that's Mega Man X. Uh, I don't have the uh, running time going right now because I split the recording there in a couple spots. guess that would be about an hour and a half or so.
ever return until the next game, I guess. I don't know if there's any point in showing the credits, it's just, uh... Scrolling text, and I believe it shows all the enemies, their names. Alright, well I guess I'll just uh, kind of leave it here to go through the credits. That was uh, pretty fun. Good game. Uh, not much else to say. I'm like, watching this, you've probably seen or at least seen a Let's Play or heard of it before. Uh, if you haven't played it, definitely give it a try. It's, uh, not terribly difficult. Great, so I guess that's it. Wait, it's a gallery stage there. A gallery stage. There's a bunch of like factories, a mine, forest, uh, water, power plant. military tower or whatever. Galleries. We'll look that up later. I'd probably tell if I'd read the uh, enemy types. <laughs>